it. People I mean, love it. playing with me, but hate it. When I play back, what goes around comes around. What's up, everybody? Welcome, 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 riders. What's up? I said riders. What's up? Oh, yeah, I'm just saying what's You're up. A, you, you, I mean, you know, I came on a little late. What's up with so you? you? You've accepted no, the riders. No, I love the riders, too. Okay, good. Thank no, you. I mean, I mean, truly, I do. We need people to start speaking truth around here, okay? I'm speaking truth. I love the riders. Just not as much as I love Perry Peeps. Hi, Perry Peeps. Welcome, welcome, yeah. welcome. This is the stupid shit show today because I told you I'm going to keep doing it until I run into something <laughs> to really talk about. And we got a lot. We got some crazy uh, stupid shit for you today, people. This is what I want to know. This is what I want to know, Perry, before we yeah. get into it. Yeah, talk to me. Why the mail of meters, whatever the hell they're called, mm -hmm. be reaching out to me behind everybody's back? Why they be reaching out to me? What they got going on? Cheryl! Uh, well, I don't get it. It's the hate for Carlos. First, of, first of all, is, it, is the Melometers a hate group? Uh, I don't know what they is, but I know they hate Carlos King. Oh, that could be the reason. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all think y'all gonna use me up for Carlos <laughs> King? Okay, that I didn't know that. Oh, all right, well, I'm here to please you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I am here. We talk about Carlos King today, the self-proclaimed king of reality, self-proclaimed. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why Perry wants to go in the past and talk about Quaylen from Love After Lockup. Like we left them. Oh, that's your Carlos King. No, you're the self-proclaimed king of uh, uh of nothing. Okay. <laughs> Perry, you the quick king of nothing. You got your king's hat on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Can anybody be a king this day, these days? Just Get yourself Anybody, if, you got two, if you got two ninety nine in a Payless shoe store or <laughs> costume store or whatever, Seven Eleven, you can do it. Two ninety nine. I'm the well, king. Well, you hear people. Perry is officially the king of nothing. All right, yeah. and then we're going to talk about Kevin Hunter. That's weird. Perry wants to talk about that. I want to talk about Usher's mother, child. I'm. The, I, I listen. I I love the moms. I'm a mom. The child, a lie is a lie. Okay, I'm just here to tell you. And then I'm talking about the newly, re the newly revealed liar, Oprah Winfrey. Okay, because okay. I'm sorry, you know, she's very successful, but the girl is a lie. She what? loves to lie. I and mean, then uh, we're going to end with Carlos King. Um, I wanted to send a special shout out to Tasha K. Not Legion's first wife. <laughs> Not the first wife, Tasha. I'm telling you. People say, oh, Tasha K. Look, she going to get the interviews that we want to see, okay? So that's good. Who else? I had to talk to somebody else. Oh. No, I'm just playing. I'm just like, look, look, look. I'm just <laughs> Got my nails still on, period. I want to hear it. All right. All right. I think I, I shouted out everybody. I feel like I'm missing somebody. Yes, yeah, a lot going on behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, <clears throat> let's start with, you want to talk about Quaylen. Why do we have to dig in the past for this, Perry? No, I mean. Did you send me something? You didn't even send me none. Okay, I don't have a picture to put up. I don't think so. Nothing. I'll just put this up because I think this is where you got this story from Reddit. Hold on, let me put this up. I have got to have, have something wrong with me. Why I got to have the visuals? Well, I mean, sometimes I do help because some people, you know, can 
that name sound familiar, but can't put a face to it. Tell us about this boring ass show that we left years ago. Go right. ahead. I know. Oh, you got them behind you. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've seen the show, right? Right. But I just ran across a cordon of amber. And I was like, what the hell is this? And because uh, Quaylen and Chevelle been dating, you know, and supposedly been getting married. And I and think we had them on the show before, right? Yeah. Okay. Until they was going to get married until the boyfriend from prison child reached out to Chevelle. What boyfriend from prison? What are you talking about? His boyfriend. Quaylen's boyfriend. Perry, stop, stop. Allegedly. Perry, Perry, Perry. I got this from a court in Amber. I'm just saying, I was just like, well, what the hell is this? Like, did they get married? I was happy for them. But no, mm -mm. the marriage Perry. didn't go down, child. It didn't go what down because what? What are you trying to say? Honey, the only thing I'm telling you is the story I got. It didn't go down because the boyfriend in prison said, hey, if he's been lying to me, doing this, I don't want you to marry him in the dark and not know the truth. Now I'm thinking, child, who Harry, please stop, okay? Because this is overwhelming. I'm overwhelming. I'm People in the chat are agreeing. Oh my God! And they say y'all have to give me time to absorb this. The yeah. boyfriend. Wait, what? Well, you know, what? I mean, ain't no girls in there. If you're in an all male prison, you in there with other males. Stop, Perry! Stop! Stop! And you I wake can't. up early in the morning, you go ting ting. Oh my God! <laughs> something got to go down. It's true. <sighs> I'm just saying something got to go down. And I mean, that that's his thing in there. But I'm just saying, like, it's really Stay. weird. I'm shocked. It's weird. And then, like, I'm sure she was crushed because she put a lot into Quaylen. As far yes, as I can yes, see. Remember, yes. you know, putting money on his books until he got out and then picked them up. And damn near lost her family <laughs> over him. But, Kyle, if it wasn't from Adam, the boyfriend. Who is Adam? Who Adam, I, I guess, is the boyfriend that was in prison. He has a name? But I guess he's out of prison now, but I'm saying that's when, I guess, how they, you know. Was he cute? Tighten up. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, something happened up in there to where they was happening. But then, I guess for proof, because, you know, anybody <laughs> no, can call right. up and just say, hey, girl, check this out. You know, I'm going to tell you something now. You know your man cheating? Anybody can say that. But the person sent her evidence, a picture. A, a picture, picture of, what? of the Adam, boyfriend, Adam okay. and Eve, in her bedroom. Who is Eve? I guess that'd be if he Adam, and I guess if Quaylen was on the bottom, he was Eve. Perry, stop! 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 stop. If you're joking, please stop. No, I I'm telling you. Now this is what I mean. What I seen on this thing is it's like a photo, and you, you know how you get it like a two year old. You put them on your neck like this, and you hold them up, and they just play. <laughs> I guess they're in the bedroom, and the only reason <laughs> the, well, the only reason she can identify the, the photo that is him, because I guess it's in her bedroom or her daughter. It's a bedroom in her house. Yeah. And then, but the baby, at least back here, he was around the other way, with his legs going to the back, I guess. And I guess him being Eve and Adam was bobbing for apples. Perry, Perry, stop, Perry, stop. I can just stop, okay. stop, stop. <laughs> so, I mean, for me, oh yeah, yeah, it's just crazy, right? Well, first of all, he's breaking the rules. Gay for the stay means while you're there. I you're not there that. no more. I, I get it. And, and it's messed up, you know, I mean, because they suppose they got married and it probably would have happened if he could have just stayed away. I know gay for the state, he could have stayed away and got married. <laughs> the whole thing is, it messed everything up, and she got to be crushed, embarrassed. But the stupid part of it all is this, Sherelle. She had to have seen some signs. Well, uh, I'm just keeping it real. I mean, for one, if your hair is longer than mine, <laughs> right? his hair longer than hers, he go to the beauty shop. I mean, the hair salon more than she do. That's one thing. Now, I'm not sure if he got your kind of nails on. I'm not sure. You ain't got to bring my nails into this. I'm not just the saying nails. you keep flashing them like this. No, because, Perry, it's, 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 it's nothing it's, it's, wrong if you're gay for the state. But 
uh, I would have never guessed Quaylen. And how's this supposed to work? Him and Siobhan and the boyfriend. I'm confused. Now that we know. No, 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 no. It wasn't a threesome. So it wasn't no, a threesome. No, but now. Well, he. Oh, does it mean that Quaylen's not seeing him anymore and they're still getting married? Oh, like, how, where does the boyfriend fit in? He's still seeing them because they wasn't in prison when the guy was bobbing on them. You know what I'm saying? Okay, 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 okay. It was apparently in her house where the photo came from. I'm just saying Look that is crazy. But the stupid part of it all, you know, I could feel bad for and say, child, man, that's bad that happened to you. You was in denial, maybe. I mean, cause she had to know something was wrong all those nights. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Child, like, okay, so you're telling me Quaylen like Bussy, okay? Right. I mean, I mean, look, a couple things she should have realized. This Most is a go to bed scandal, to at night, The girl will assume her position. When she walk in, he already on all fours. She should have known <laughs> something was wrong. You see what I'm saying? Like, Very something was wrong with that. He, he on all fours, and if that wasn't good enough, she knew Quaylen was gone on Tuesday. Oh and, you know, she had her little thing out. And then Very she, stop. No, 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 no. I'm saying she put it on her side of the bed in her nightstand. When she looked for it the next day when Quaylen was home, why was it in Why was it in his nightstand? See? You see what I'm saying? Like, these small signs, you know, that you, I Very called stop. them out. People her just vibrator like, oh, was not missing. I think I could, no, no, no. <laughs> He using the same tools you use. Just saying. And I thought that was the stupidest thing. And now he mad at the world. He's mad at the world. Why? Yeah. Because he don't want to claim it. See, that's the whole thing. Like, if that's what you are, that's what you are. But, so are you, wait, hold on. Are you joking about the toy missing? Well, no, I'm just imagining these could have been some of the clues she could have caught on to. They didn't mention the toys, but, you know, I'm saying, shit, it's things you just notice. I know you keep your nails all over on my side, <laughs> the dresser. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, she should have noticed, why is my vibrator always on his side of the bed? She should have noticed that. And then they could have, you know. Her, a, I can't breathe. Stop. That, I mean, that's what I'm assuming, Sherelle. Why is it missing? <laughs> I mean, hell. He, now, oh. one thing he do respect, he do stay on his side of the bed. And that's why he can reach over here. Perry, Perry, stop. You know him. Oh, I can't breathe. Hold on. But, I mean, you know, and I get it. It Ooh. hurts her, right? I mean, because, like, I wouldn't consider it, like, uh, down low. I, I, I consider it low down. Because he wasn't honest with her. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just say, hey, baby, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to give you what you want. I'm going to give you what you want. But, honey, I'm gonna, I got I to gotta tell you something. I like it, too. <laughs> That's all he had to tell her. And she probably would have said, hey, well, what you mean? <laughs> <laughs> then, and, and maybe so, she's willing to be open about it. Are know. they still together? Uh, that I don't know. Because now he might be mad at the guy that exposed him. Adam. The boyfriend, child, mm. this is some stupid shit. I mean, I Eve, mean, the, I mean Eve, shit. Who shit is Eve? Quayla. <laughs> Adam and Eve, when they was what's, in prison Wait, together. what's the boyfriend's name? Adam. So I just assume when they role play, he'll be Eve. <laughs> uh, we're done. Yeah, I'm just we're saying. We're done. Fair <laughs> I, I, you know, it tripped me out, and I ain't seen this show in a oh. long time. And then I, oh. and, and, I mean, outside of him, I heard another one allegedly, according to Amber. I think Chance, if if people familiar with the You're show, lying. Chance. I don't know for a fact. I don't watch the show, according to Amber, and she normally be on everything they do. You heard if they get fired. Chance was gay for the stay. No, well, that's what I heard. Child, they got a lot going that's on it. over there. A bunch of weirdos, okay? Mm -hmm. Speaking of mm -hmm. uh, love after lockup, I just got a, a text from Dylan. He's getting married. I wonder if I was supposed to say that. Well, he uh, shouldn't send it to you because you got a big mouth. 
<laughs> I don't know if I'm yeah. supposed to say it. Get mad. Because I, I was thinking the whole cast is wacky over there. But they had some real cool people. They had uh, Dylan, who we still talk to. Congratulations. Uh -huh. If I, I don't know if I'm supposed to say it. If I did, I do deeply apologize, Dylan. But I'm so happy for you. And uh, the guy with the blue suit that he cool tyrese is cool as long as he stays in a black suit Don't yeah yeah blue. ain't nobody looking for no damn blueberries <laughs> that's my I brother, remember that. my brother, but that damn suit was a killer back in the day it was are messy no dylan that's my boy y'all stop y'all stop <laughs> y'all are messy so anyway i guess that's true uh you should have warned me that you're gonna say that because wow so the wedding's off or are they well i mean I, I assumed it's off because Adam wanted her to know before the wedding, and then it was a big thing. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm uh, surprised he ain't no Tasha K talking about. It. Child, yeah, we need Tasha to interview the boyfriend. Y'all mm -hmm. start petitioning Tasha. We need to hear from the boyfriend, okay? And is he still the boyfriend? And what happened? We need to know all of that. Like, what happened? Oh. Okay, and where is the blood? No, I'm just kidding. I sort of heard they, they still going at it. So, I mean, well, I mean, him and Chevelle, I mean, but. Damn, the only thing he had to do is come clean with her. And that I mean, person that made that video, I'm going to reach out to them, see if they can come on the show. Because I got to okay. find out what happened. Okay. What is that? Let me shout this person out. Hold on. Uh, well, you got it off of Reddit. Um, yeah. Whoever made that video, I'll find out who it was. Creative something. I can't read it. And right. uh, we, we start bringing people on the show to talk about what happened because that's I, crazy. I used yeah. to love that show too. It used to be really good, but you know, sometimes you outgrow. No, that show. I, I was. I sometimes got tired people of outgrow it. things, but sometimes people can't let go of things, right, Quayla? <laughs> Quayla You're messy. You're you messy. Said, yeah, Chevelle, you okay? But you, girl, you can't satisfy. You don't me. want to interview Ch uh, Chevelle. <laughs> we should. I, I want. I wonder if we still. I think I've interviewed her, I, right? Was, I can't remember. Anyway, something like that. Anyway, uh, good, good. That's a lot of us. The only thing would have kept his ass at home if somebody would have gave him a gift like a, a strap on or something. He probably would have stayed Perry, at home. Perry, let's let's move on. <laughs> okay, we'll let's move, move on. on. <laughs> let's move on to Usher's mother. Okay, so we all know since the lawsuit that Usher and Meek Mill were named in the lawsuit from uh, what's the guy. Uh, his name is Rodney Jones, suing P. Diddy and out at the fact in the thing that, you know, P. D P. Diddy and I don't know what the exact words were because I read the lawsuit. Let me see if I can find it. But anyway, so, but Meek Mill had a bad reaction, okay? Days and days and days. He wrecked his damn car over, didn't it? <laughs> you know what? I think I heard that. I think he did. I mean, like, it, it could have been before, but in, in Perry's mind, he got yeah. so upset. Poor I can't me. believe they out at me. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I just don't want to be here. Pam! Perry, Perry, stop. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> Meek Mill, I hope he has calmed down. Uh, but he was he took all his anger out on DJ Academics uh -huh. for days. But while this is going on, they're saying that Usher's mom is going around to their circle saying, Do you think? Uh, that was true. If it was true, I didn't know about Usher and and Diddy hooking up. And uh, girl, you're lie. You're lie. Okay. I, I love you, Mama. Mama. Jo what her name? What is Usher's mother' name? Jonetta. I I love you, Miss Jonetta. But girl, there are evidence out there saying that you knew and. A lot of the evidence is coming from Gene Dill. Are you in the chat today, Gene? Please shout out if you are. From Gene Dill. He's saying that Usher, they, uh, they all knew that him and, and, and Puffy was hooking up and allegedly something happened and they had to rush Usher to the uh -huh. hospital. I'm thinking STD. That's what I'm thinking. But anyway, that's when she was told something was going on. Mm -hmm. And you send your son to go live with P. Diddy yep. at the age of 14. All for this. All for $200. <laughs> Did you do really good? $200. Uh, I mean, girl, that's some stupid ass shit. You got to be honest. You, want, you, didn't, you turned a blind cheek. 
because you wanted your son to be rich and famous and you didn't care what he had to do to get it. But here's the thing. And and eventually when we get off of Meek Mill, we got to talk about Usher. He doesn't talk about it, but everybody's saying that he's kind of twisted and that he had something going on with Justin Bieber. He did the same thing to Justin Bieber that Puffy did to him. Now this is a whole Hmm. sick shit mess. Okay. But in the middle of all the mess, I don't want to point the finger. I just don't want Usher's mom going around talking nonsense. Well, okay? I mean, you didn't know. What about when Gene said y'all was at the hospital? And why was we at the hospital? I'm thinking STD. What are you thinking? Because, you know, we heard that he had an STD. Oh, no. But see, typically, I guess, well, I mean, they, they may go to a clinic or a personal doctor for that. I don't think they go to the emergency room. Unless mm-hmm. it could have been one of those nights, it was one of those freaky nights that, you know, before he made Usher the cereal next morning and he jumped on the back and had to bust it open. And- Perry, stop! <laughs> he- no, Perry, no. what is wrong typically, with you? No, saying, typically, the nurse, I mean, the hospital is like for stitches and stuff like that. So I don't really know. Somebody in the chat said he could have bled. Y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, well, I don't know. You the one bring the story forward. I know because I think it's ridiculous that the mother's trying to act like she didn't know and what happened. Anything could happen when you go send your child to live with a stranger that you claim that you didn't know. Like, what is wrong with you? That's some stupid shit. So come on, Lynetta. Lynetta, <laughs> please. Why the fuck you lying? Oh, Why you always Perry, no, lying? Perry, clip, clip, Perry, Perry. Okay. Don't call her Lynetta. Well, uh, I mean, look, if you know you did something, like, huh? Do you think that happened? Lanetta. You know damn well you did it for $200. Oh, Perry, Perry, stop. What is wrong with you? Yes, <laughs> Do you think she did it for free? I mean, shit. I sending him to get his house was better than sending him to college, which she would have had to pay for. She got paid for sending him Perry. to get his house. Oh, allegedly. my God. Allegedly. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel sorry for Usher. I do. Because if that happened, you can't trust mom. You're living with Satan. (laughs) Something something is wrong with Diddy ass. And uh, I hope it doesn't tarnish Usher's career because he's a great singer. And if you don't want to talk about it, you don't have to talk about it. Unfortunately, now you're in the lawsuit. That's what we are. We have to. Yeah, and, and I'm then sorry, maybe, Usher. Yeah, and I wish him the best. And then I wish him the best. And you know, I mean, because he did good. And whenever the itch come on, get some kind of cream or something. Soothe it. I don't know. Perry, 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 Perry. It, it's a rumor out there that Usher. Oh God, y'all. Like, like he got the measles. The most. No, that he has. A, she, I, I know, but saying. I ain't gonna say that. I'm just okay, saying. Okay, okay, all right, all right. He have a measles outbreak. Just saying. That's my stupid shit for the day for uh, Miss uh, Janetta. Girl. Okay, well, while we on that, can I get to this other one I had? Yeah. It's sort of, it's not even popular unless you watch TMZ or something like that, where you just go down these oh. articles and you just read crazy stuff. I don't stuff. even want to put those pictures up. I what? I think you're going to talk about people sucking people's toes. Uh, don't you worry. <laughs> Perry, oh God. Look, let me tell you something. Now, mm. I remember being in high school, and I'm sure most of you guys have too. But fundraisers, what do you do? You sold you candy, candy bars, yeah. car washes, yeah. the local uh, restaurant coupons. But they <laughs> act like Diddy up in this mother. What's going on in, in Oklahoma? I know they get a lot of storms. But I didn't know it brought along a whole lot of freakiness. Because who going to have a fundraiser and an open gym? They got an open gym for a fundraiser where you walk in, you got all these people for their peers, they said, laying on the thing, and you walk up and just, I guess you pay for somebody to suck your toes. Okay. If that, this that, is happening, that, that, for real, that, that, for real. if this is happening, and then one picture had him underarms too, so down. If this is happening in freaky Oklahoma. that That's freaky. Could that's you imagine? Freaky. If that was five dollars for that fundraiser, if you went to the locker room for twenty five dollars, what they were sucking? 
Just say I, I don't even want to talk about it. It's ridiculous. Oh, no, that that is some stupid yeah. ass I mean, shit. What is going on with this world? I don't know, but I ain't raising no money for nobody hey, where I got to put toes in my mouth. I'm yeah. the, I'm, mm -mm. Hi, Bonji. She said, Usher's in Bali with Russell Simmons is what's wrong. Perry didn't talked about that already. You missed it, Bonji. He can't, he can't let it go. Yeah, he can't let wrong. it go. Uh, thank you for becoming a uh, member uh, of my Sherelle's Riders, right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Thank you. Yeah, I think it's Christina. Uh, spelled different. That's cute. All right. Um, okay, we're gonna get your mess out the way because that's that's a mess. And please take that down. It's well, I mean, yeah, that's all I had. It was just a little short thing, but I thought it was ridiculous. And how could somebody the principal should be fired, the mayor? <laughs> Shit. And and then the, the, the damn police chief should be fired too, just for the hell of it. <laughs> just I want to talk about Oprah Winfrey. She's my uh uh, what what, is it, what we call it again? Stupid shit of the day, okay? Because mm -hmm. it's just, it's just. Listen, I'm I have fell out of. Ooh, what is this? Oh my gosh! Okay, wow. Oh, uh, I'll get to that in a minute. Let's talk about Oprah Winfrey, who I have fell out of love with. I am done with Oprah. Okay, mm -hmm. after what she did to Taraji, she ain't nothing but a. A lion. No, I, I don't. I can't stand Oprah Winfrey. Okay, but she's in the uh, news today because she is after she got caught lying about Ozempic because that's what she do. Okay, she's a liar. Uh, now she's doing a special about how many people are on it and how it's not a big deal. You don't get it. Okay, you don't get it. No one cares that you're on Ozempic. We care because you lied about it, okay? You lied for a good solid two weeks, maybe even a damn month, until you start getting the Ozempic face and the bobblehead. Yeah. Now she wants to do a whole series on Ozempic. But what she's doing is troubleshooting. Please like me again, public. Please, please, please. Because we are done with you after what you did to Monique. After what you did to Taraji and Fantasia, we're done. We don't care how skinny you get, how big your head get. You look like a bobblehead, by the way. Um, and she's she probably, she, really, she's probably like 100 pounds now. Mm -hmm. Girl, no one cares. We don't want to listen to your lying documentary. We don't care. You got busted, and that's what it is. You, Perry, you did not put Weight Watchers up there. <laughs> no, I mean, it, it's amazing to me, because really... How stupid can it be? Who have y'all heard ever got fired from Weight Watchers? <laughs> unless you wasn't watching your weight. I don't get it. Well, no, let me say they fight Weight Watchers fire Oprah for lying. <laughs> right. I mean, you know what? And, and but they should have, right? Because, like, to me, I ain't never been to Weight Watchers, but it's uh -huh. like a community of people that have gathered there that support each other to try to lose weight and stuff. They try a little. You know, healthy snacks like a I little. I know what Weight Bar. Watchers is, but you you can't lie to the public and tell everybody you're on Weight Watchers well, and then the lose it one day and then confess Ozempic. That's my point. They should have fought her for lying because yeah. it's not fair to the group that was yeah. a unit, and she's yeah. supposed to be in there with them. And they wondering why she went from four hundred to two hundred, <laughs> and they went from three ninety five to three ninety. You see what I'm saying? Like it's just not right. It's not right. It's not right. It's some stupid shit that you're That's doing. You're I don't care about your documentary. Yeah, but they end up working out, eating a little snack, a healthy snack bar, and they feel like the daytime would never come, and she cheating. She yeah. probably cheated through high school and college. <laughs> She's been a liar for a long time. Her and, and what's that uh, no good friend of hers? What's the name? Gail? No. Oh, oh. Gail's on it, too, but okay. the other one. Uh, the man. The, 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 Dr. Phil? No. <laughs> oh. No, uh, Tyler Perry. They've been oh, tripping okay. lately. Uh, Oprah and Tyler Perry have been tripping lately, okay? He's going to fire all his employees and go AI, like. Yeah. He thinks he has more please, money in his pocket. He's seats. real tight with his money. He was going to build some extra studios. I don't need it now with this new electronic. Instead of bringing in uh, whoever, let's say. Beyonce, I just use her voice for free. It's just, it's ridiculous. Yeah. I'm not, 
I'm not watching your uh, documentary Oprah on Ozempic, Michael Jackson. As, as a matter of fact, go take a vacation because I'm tired of looking at you. We are fresh off of what you, the mess you made out of the color purple. And then you think we want to watch your stupid ass documentary? Girl, stop. Yeah, you please. be lying. Also, I wanted to show you how thin she is, but I closed it. Just get out of our face, Oprah. If you're going to be skinny lying, Oprah, we want fat down to earth Oprah back because you are. In the documentary, is she going to say why she got fired from Weight Watchers? <laughs> I mean, that might be interesting. <laughs> you're, you're messy. You're messy. Yeah. I mean, she anyway. ended up smuggling. You know, everybody got the little healthy snacks. She's in there. Hold on, I got to go to the bathroom for a second with that exempic. Harry, stop. Okay, I'm letting me move on. <laughs> you wanted to say something about Kevin Hunter. What do you have to say, Perry? No, oh, you know what, Sherelle? When is enough enough, right? Now, the girl left you when your money left. Who are you talking about, Sharina? Sharina. Okay. Now, word you is... Put the, you, you got a picture of them in the background. You a must. The word is now, like, as much as you done went through, got to sell the house. You getting sued? Who are you talking to, Kevin? Card. Kevin. Okay, go ahead. Getting sued for credit card. Then yes, for the rain. I'm still that. crying to go back to a woman who used you, left you, and here you are pulling up to her Section Eight apartment. <laughs> Tell me, hey baby. Well, I mean, I'm sorry. You pulled up in the Uber, by the way, because unless you get your car back. Pulled up. Hey girl. You know, I need to talk to you for a second. I know food stamps is making you happy and free rent is good. But um, wait, Perry, hold on. You're saying to... that Serena lives in a section eight. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, what else? I mean, she left him. He was broke. She didn't have shit when she got there. The money that they got from Wendy, they wasted it on all these projects. That, that doesn't mean she's on section eight. Perry, stop. I can imagine that. <laughs> Perry can imagine that. I don't know where she is. But she had to be down on her luck to take him back. So No, who told you that they're back? It sounds like that they're supposed to get married. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Hold on. Okay, <laughs> now I'm just saying. I, maybe not true. I'm just saying. I read some stuff. It seemed that way to me today. Am I wrong, people? read that. But anyway, let me tell my story how I want to oh tell Oh, my God, it. you read that. Can't Kevin marry Sharina, but he's broke. And y'all like, in the Section 8 apartment. That's my, now, that's my wait, thing. wait, what? No, no, no. I read something like that. It could be joking. I'm like, whatever. But I know she had to be down on her luck to take his broke ass back unless he made some fake promises to her. Like, no. hey, girl, you know, I'm going to reopen this thing up, my divorce case with Wendy, because the mediator didn't treat me right. I'm going to set things off. And by the way, I talked to Usher Mom, and she said 200 would do it. <laughs> And um, now it's we need just to go ahead Wendy and get Williams. Back together. And by the way, well, Kevin, I don't know if I want your stuff, Kevin. You've been lying to me for years, baby. I still got Wendy Williams' life insurance policy. Oh, Perry, Perry, stop! For real, it, Perry, it, it, Perry, it, it, Perry, 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 you, you gotta real. stop. <laughs> you cannot trust a person like him. Perry, please stop. Now, stop. Wait, hold on. Let me back day. up. Let me absorb the fact. It says right here, Wendy Williams' ex-husband announces that he just got married to a former, oh, they called her the side piece. And, and then, yeah, I, glanced not... the article. I glanced over the article because I thought it said going to get married. I didn't know no, they, they got married. He said married. Okay, yeah, right. Well, I mean, why I was she... Oh, okay, this must be him. Hold on. How do I get rid of this? I can't. He posted this. It says, happy birthday, queen, mother, chef. She ain't no chef. Stop lying. Wife, ooh, child. If you want it, you can get it. If you want it, you can get it for the rest of your life. Oh, child, I cannot. Why you always lying? Yeah, he gonna get it. Why she gonna get but Perry, why would she marry him? This doesn't make uh, any no, sense. No, no, Sherelle. Here comes the money. He has no money. He has no money. From whatever he him? got planned, either he gonna fight the divorce. I'm telling. I don't put nothing past him. And you laugh, and this is a serious thing. I'm saying he probably got life insurance policy. If they don't pay off today, they typically don't last forever. They pay off one day, and that That's was enough for her broke ass to <laughs> leave that Section Eight apartment. <laughs> Stop. 
Sorry. Just saying. Okay, period, period. I mean, she went and got a her did. The life insurance Yo, joke is not funny because that's what Tim. No, Norman no, no, really no, 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 no. I'm saying that's what people do. <laughs> See, I mean, I mean, you stay in the house too much. <laughs> Shit. Wendy need a food taster. That's not funny. You, you yeah. think he can't be? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> now, I could be say. No, 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 no. I could be wrong. I don't have proof that he do. But I'm saying, you know, if we got some of these forensic scientists out there, check into it. I'm weak. Perry, stop. First, you said the girl lived in a Section 8 apartment. I know. In and my now mind. you think they going off Wendy. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm, no, no, no. I'm just saying in my mind. Maybe they won't do it because, you know, no of us stay here forever, Sherelle. I'm just saying. He's sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting. You know what I'm saying? Perry, Perry, please. Okay. And now he got company. Now they both waiting. <laughs> oh, oh, God. I'm moving on. Uh, I did Usher's mother, Oprah. Do you have anything else, Perry? Please don't have anything else. Do you have anything else? I have something else. <sighs> Before I get to Carlos King, child. I thought I had something else. Oh, my God. Hmm. It was something else. Damn it. But go ahead. Maybe it'll come back. You just go, go into Carlos King or something. I, I got to go into Carlos King because I don't give a damn about Carlos King, as y'all know. Uh, I think the man is less than smart. And what did I do with it? Somebody sent me this today. Let me go back in my, in my DMs and get it. Hold on. Somebody sent me this. Here it is. So I guess Carlos King. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. <laughs> Carlos King is hitting the road, okay, and it looks like he's go he's he's taking a a, a play out of Tasha K's Tasha K's playbook, okay. He's on the road, he's on tour, okay. And a millimeter sent me this, okay. That's what I'm saying. Don't try to talk behind my back, my uh, millimeters, but then want me to do some favors for you. I'm doing this favor because I agree with you. And they were saying that first of all. It's Bravo people he wants to bring on tour with him. Uh, you see Tamar down there. And I see the cast. Well, I know that girl. I think this is. I don't know who she. Yeah, that's her. I know her. I can't remember her name. That's the girl that stole the credit cards. Before she went on Love and Marriage. Uh. DC. Oh, I'm sure you know about that, Carlos, that she got fired for credit card fraud. You know that, right? I don't know why y'all ain't talked about it yet. <clears throat> and also, she was having an affair. Oh, can I remember his name? Mm. Anyway, I'm not trying to mess up your second season. I just wonder why you didn't bring it up. But anyway, so he's supposed to be going on the tour and they don't see Mel or anybody from Love and Remarriage Huntsville on this tour. Now, first of all, Tasha Kay's going on tour because she's a comedian now, okay? That's what she does. That's it. Do we know why Carlos King is going to comedic venues? Oh, hell no. Why? 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 I don't know, but I mean, and isn't he going with most of the housewives? Is it housewives? Oh, yeah. And why are you going on tour with housewives? And where is Mel, your biggest star, on your own goddamn reality TV show? Now, I'm under, I agree with the Melanators. What and is wrong with you? I understand sometimes in people's life, they like attention. But damn, how much attention do you truly need? I don't understand this. So if, you're, if your shows are all failing in very low ratings, then what? Well, Hang out with the ones that, that, that that's on the popular shows. Maybe that's what he's doing. Maybe that's what he's doing. Yeah. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. And anybody from Bravo that ties their self to Carlos King, your Maybe. boss's enemy, not smart, Judice. Not smart. Do you think it could be possible? Do, do you think that he might want to become a housewife? Well, you always said he wants to work for Bravo again. Right. Maybe because, look, let me hang around all these people so they can really like me. And then I could be a friend of a friend of a friend. And then eventually they realize how popular I am and, and I can become a housewife. Hi, Freddie. Uh, maybe <laughs> I don't understand what he's doing. 
the only reason I'm talking about this is not for the Melanators, but because it doesn't make sense. And he's with Teddy. No one cares about Teddy, so her job isn't in danger. But Tamar and and Tamra, and who else was that? And Teresa, come on now. Like, you're trying to help an old boss out, but you guys got to remember, Andy Cohen's going through a very hard time right now. He's being sued by Queen Wacko, Brandy Glanville, and he's going to remember people who attach themselves to Brandy, which is no one, and people that attach themselves to Carlos. I'm just saying, not a smart move. That's why I put you on the stupid shit list. That's the stupid shit. And they're going to go around and watch you do what, Carlos? Talk about other people like a dog? Is that what they're going to go watch? Because you don't have any talents. Like what? Yeah. He, Unless you, you know, can. Uh, he want to sit around with the ladies, get them drunk. Hey, what you think about? And get their hey, secrets. How did you feel about <laughs> Stephanie, child? <laughs> how do you feel about it? Hey, oh, yeah, let me write that shit down because I'll be talking about it. But. Maybe he want to work for Bravo again. I don't understand it. Can anybody in the chat tell me why does Carlos King keep thinking he works for Bravo? Okay, you got an identity crisis. Hi, Freddie. Okay, uh, Bonji says, in January, Carlos' first stop was Huntsville with Mel. Why yes. isn't she on this tour? She should be on the tour because she's his number one reality tv person right and right. that's what they're saying they're saying well you're supposed to bring mel and push and promote love and marriage huntsville you would think that he would walk around with a male t-shirt on for real i'm saying like that is his like you know promote your stuff look it's looking real thirsty carlos real thirsty but i wish you the best of luck but I mean, I didn't warn you like how your reputation is going down. Do you don't nobody want to see <laughs> want to listen to me except for Chula? She says Carlos is coming for Andy's job. He's trying to come for Andy's job. He, he will never get Andy's job. And then if Perry. he ain't careful, he already lost a job at Bravo. <laughs> You're messy, <laughs> Perry. He might lose one from home. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. I, I, I don't know. Uh, you know, Perry never come with facts. I'm just telling you what Perry thinking up here. I'm just telling you, and you got a whole bunch of melanators not feeling you. That's who you should be on tour with, going to their town, talking to them, lying to them, telling them it's not true. I really care about love and marriage, Huntsville, because we know you don't. You just don't, Carlos. So I don't know. You got a lot going on. Good luck. I mean, well, no, I ain't going to say that. I'm just going to keep going. Thank you. I don't watch the show, but I, I just read different things, and people say he had a crush on Martel. I don't know. Perry, stop. <laughs> Oh, I said, I don't know. I'm just telling you, people say stuff and I look at it and say, either can I believe this? <laughs> can I believe it is up here? Don't believe it down here. And when I when I heard that, it was hovering up here. Perry, Perry, please, please don't <laughs> say it. Just don't <laughs> say it. It was a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. Anybody I, out there? I know. That he, got, he got a man. So I'm just saying, though, that's what somebody else. Perry didn't say it. Yeah. Car I mean, what's his name? Martell. Oh, just okay, never mind. Child, no, uh uh. Child, oh my god. I didn't say Martell <sighs> wanted him. I, you know, somebody said it differently. Perry, stop. Oh, okay, okay. I'm just I, I don't gotta know. stop stupid shit because Perry, oh my god. Love and marriage Huntsville is overrated and actually boring. Ooh, love and marriage DC. I just can't watch. Listen, you're not the only one, Bonji. I'm saying if you're going on tour to promote your shows, don't you want to bring your artists with you? <laughs> yeah. it's just, I'd rather watch. Maybe the what's that one bougie and love bougie? Bring them. Bring everybody yeah. and make bougie, it bougie. But he's so trying to bougie. turn it into like a Bravo thing where, you know, people come and they want to see their favorite Bravo stars. Right. But bringing bra <sighs> Well, see, on one hand, you can think he want that, but then he's not promoting his biggest star. That It doesn't no. make sense. Right. I don't Child. get it. But, I mean, you know, who am I? Child, we trying to tell you, uh, Carlos, this, is, this, thing, this feels very, very weird. I was doing reviews on Housewives and Married to Medicine. They said my exact words, shaking my... It's it. Yeah. <sighs> I, I, don't, I don't get it. 
But Girl, he does he know that the millimeters are after him or say yeah, he can have opinions yeah. on him? Yeah, yeah, he know. Well, what kind and, of how do you know? Well, I mean, well, look, something happened on that tour when they went to Huntsville. And apparently Oh my god, don't say it. I know, I know what you know, and I, I remember where you who you got it from. We were on the phone and talking to that person. I well, remember now. Okay. I, it went in one ear and out the other because I don't care about right. The show like that. I'm just, you know, child. Yeah, hell yeah. That's what I'm saying. I, I don't care about it you like that. You should just go ahead, Carlos, and name it Carlos Khan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like Bravo Khan. He's yeah. probably working on a show involving some Bravo leftovers. Damn. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's it. This is the show. Bold and bougie comes yeah. on we. Yeah, that's that. That's not gonna be on. Sometimes ratings are so low that they don't even let you complete the season. Have you ever watched that? There's like three or four episodes, and then they take it down. I mean, yeah, I, I don't hey, know. Freddy. I don't want him to mess up his thing. I mean, because really, at the end of the day, I joke around. I want the man to keep a job, but you get to move a little differently because you can't have all these fans upset at you. Mm -hmm. and then you want them to watch your show mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because I think the melanators are protesting anything he do. Because he don't show Mel no justice. Mm, she's okay. the star. Yeah, yeah, show. yeah. I get it. I get it. And you rather hang with some rethread from Bravo. Some drunk. Come on, girl. I mean, he rather hang out with the one from Huntsville that robbed Home Depot, stole something. Perry, Home stop! Depot. Perry, I mean, stop! <laughs> oh my God. Y'all say why I cut Perry off? Because. Perry just, he can't, you have no filter, Perry. You have, oh, y'all, y'all are mess. Carlos, the <laughs> fake blogger, child. <laughs> Carlos, we, we're still Joshua, cool for please. you. No, no, Joshua, do not say that. He, he don't like those terms. Bloggers. You did you did diss us as bloggers, Carlos. You dissed us. <laughs> you act like we were, we were beneath you. We can't let you forget it. Very, very low. Not just low, low, low. Oh, I can't talk about my boy. He, yeah. Low, low, no, 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 no. Low, low, low. Don't talk about my friend, boy. I'm tired of Melody and Montel's story. That's okay. what they're saying. Listen, Carlos. Listen. Maybe he's in his. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm you not feel dirty? Go. Do you feel cheap? Perry, stop. You got these people saying, y'all stop. Yeah, I can't. I'm not. I'm not. No, that's <laughs> what I heard, Sherelle. I mean, was... Perry. While you in there doing your nails, I'm out back or something. No, I'm what you're doing is stuff. you're talking to people from production. I know who you're talking to. And I, I heard them that they put that shit in your head. Child, <laughs> it's crazy. Stop it. Yeah, Perry, we need you to stop. I'm, I'm just saying so Child, now. Child, please know. stop. They were so low. They were. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I cannot. Oh my god, y'all. Oh my god. <sighs> Not swallowed. Okay, I cannot. I can't. Oh my god. Bold and bougie. Oh wow. Okay, I'm the okay. All right. Ooh. Bold and bougie is very boring. Those women aren't telling their truth. I've never watched it, by the way. Oh, which boring. is real lives. They're hiding behind their businesses. That's wow. boring too. So, so okay, on one hand, what, what people are saying to me. He messing up on now we too. All I'm saying is I have some melanators, metameters. Wait, melameters. Sorry, melameters. Yeah, I had to get their name right. Too. Yeah, I, melameters. I gotta get their respect. I that have been respect. sending me stuff, emailing me stuff. But I had to uh, post this one. Let me go back and read their exact quotes. Okay, this is what this is what the male people. I won't I won't out you. I'm just saying what you said in my. DM. Okay, you they said oh there's more. Okay, hold on. <laughs> it says nobody from Love of Marriage Huntsville. Question mark. Now I will be pissed. They're not liking you, Carlos. Your melometers will turn on you, and you have to please your audience. I don't get it, but anyway, child, put your hat back on, Perry, because we Put your Carlos King. Could you put yeah. your King of Nothing hat? Yes, Queen. <laughs> <laughs> That's you a sign what, of respect you to you, Carlos King. <laughs> I like this kind of show that you do instead of ones I got to watch the show. 
well, what's her name again? Then I got to try to remember so I could talk about her the next day. I saw the not the Carlos King crown. Have you seen him wearing a crown? Yeah. He wears a crown? Yeah. You're <laughs> lying. No, 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 maybe not on his show, because I don't really watch his show, but I'm just saying I don't see him in pictures with the crown on. He the cane. <laughs> he the cane. That like dang lane. The cane. All right, y'all. I can't. He the king. He can't. He the king with an A. He the king of reality TV. Okay. And uh yeah. we wish you luck on the tour. But yeah, you know the meters are gonna be watching you. Some respect on his name. The king. All right, look, we're done. All right, we're done. Let's wrap this up. All right, you guys, thank you for listening. Uh, if we have anything to talk about tomorrow, we will talk about it and bring you real stories. If not, we're going to have to bring back the, what I call it? The, the shit show. The stupid, stupid shit. That's it. We'll what? be back. Hold on. What? Huh? It's stupid shit. Stupid shit. That's the name of it. I call it the shit show. I don't know. We, 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 we're clashing here. We got to make... Pick a name, okay? Yeah, I mean, because you might not want you might not want to use shit on your thumbnail. I do. So, I, so you I, go stupid. Well, anyway, look. I don't know. It's when we can, we we just think you know we just gotta talk real. All right, you guys, thank you for watching, Perry. Please fuck this shit, Perry. We hey, out. Everybody, please. Thanks for joining. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Bye, you guys. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No time, so mommy, I just grab my stuff. Hey, that's so funny. Fuck this shit, I'm out. And I don't know what's going on. It won't end. <laughs>